Hi Pisces, this is Wendy from Wendy's Tarot. Welcome to my channel. In this video, we're going to go ahead and ask the cards, what are your person's current feelings for the third party? So any romantic involvement or any romantic interest that your person has outside of their relationship with you or outside of their connection with you, that would be the third party. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Just as a reminder, this is a general reading. It might not resonate with everyone, but if it resonates with you, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'd really appreciate it. All right, let's see. Spirit angels and guys, please show me what are this person's current feelings for the third party, whoever it is that Pisces is connecting to and dealing with in love. Okay, let's take a look here. First card we have for you, Pisces, is the Seven of Swords, okay? Page of Cups in Reverse, the Five of Cups, the Three of Pentacles, the Hangman in Reverse, the Four of Wands. At the bottom, the Judgment card. Okay, so I do feel like there was a separation here. I I feel like, um, or I don't feel like your person, whoever it is that you're dealing with, is currently um, in a relationship with the third party or involved with the third party currently. I feel like there was a there was some sort of disappointment here that occurred between them. Um, Yeah, I feel like um, whoever you're dealing with, Pisces, I feel like this person got ghosted by the third party. Okay, I feel like the separation wasn't because of, of the person that you're dealing with currently. I feel like the separation happened because of the third party. The third party left, the third party disappeared, or I feel, I almost feel like the third party decided to be with somebody else. I do feel like the third party was a player, was a player, a cheater, a liar. And I feel like this five of cups is the disappointment that um, your person is currently feeling. It was, it's like it was all, it was all a lie. It was all an illusion, you know? So your, your person feels like taken advantage of. Tell me about the Seven of Swords, Spirit. We have the Two of Wands and the Chariot in Reverse. Yeah, it's like this energy of um, the third party left to be with somebody else. What is the Five of Cups? We have the Queen of Cups and we have the King of Swords in reverse. So yeah, Pisces, I feel like your person is carrying a, a emotional baggage here. Emotional burden. A lot of emotional conflict. It's, it's weighing heavy on them. The experience that they went through with the third party, it's weighing really heavy on them. I, I do, it does show up in the cards like your person was deeply affected. 
and deeply hurt. They felt betrayed, basically. Your person felt betrayed. So I do feel like this experience caused your person to develop very strong trust issues, okay? Why is the Three of Pentacles here? Spirit. The Devil, okay, yeah. And the Five of Wands in reverse, yeah. So definitely the third party was a player. The third party was... Um, was doing all, all kinds of, you know, um, was doing all kinds of cheating and lying be behind your person's back. Mm -hmm. Was keeping all kinds of secrets and had multiple involvements here. So I kind of feel like, you know, it almost feels like it shouldn't be a big surprise to your person. It almost looks like this person's, the third party's intentions were very obvious. It doesn't look like they were, they were hiding who they were. They might have giving your they might have given um your person false promises but i feel like it's it was very obvious that they were lying you know i feel like this is someone who's not very hard to read or they're not very hard to figure out it's like it's very obvious that they're up to no good you know so I do feel like your person, whoever it is that you're currently dealing with here in love, um, kind of set themselves up for failure from the start, you know? Why is the Four of Wands here? Nine of Wands, Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, I do feel like your person is disappointed, though, because they did really want to have a, a stable relationship here. They wanted something... Um, committed and something um, loyal. They wanted someone loyal. All right, let's take a look at how does your person currently feel about you, whoever it is that you're dealing with. Okay, spirit angels and guys, how does this person currently feel about Pisces? Please show me. Alright Pisces, let's take a look here. First card we have is the Four of Swords, the Three of Cups in reverse, the Strength card, the Wheel of Fortune in reverse, the World card upright, and the Lovers upright. We have at the bottom the Eight of Cups. You might be dealing with a Gemini or with a Leo, an Aquarius, a Taurus, a Scorpio. A Libra also. All right, let's see how they currently feel about you. Well, there's a lot of energy of resistance. There's also an energy of them walking away, Pisces, with the Eight of Cups and the Page of Pentacles in reverse. So this is someone who walked away from you. Hmm. That's what I'm seeing here. Yeah, this is someone who decided not to take any action towards you or not to offer you, not to make any kind of offer. The moon is here with the Hierophant in reverse. This is someone who's carrying a lot of emotional baggage, like I mentioned at the, in the beginning. Um, they have a lot of commitment issues, trust issues. Um, 
the moon is uh, is an energy of depression you might be dealing with someone who feels depressed especially with the eight of cups someone who feels kind of um defeated defeated by their circumstances or by their experiences we do have the lovers here <clears throat> sorry we do have the lovers here so i do feel like um this person has feelings for you they do feel a connection with you there is there is some sort of um bond here but it does look like your your person is choosing to ignore that or choosing not to acknowledge it yeah it looks like your person is just kind of turning their back to whatever connection they feel for you they feel with you <clears throat> The world card is kind of when somebody shuts the door on something, closes the chapter. And we also have the two of swords, which is which is a, an energy of denial. So I do feel like your person is currently in denial of of their feelings and of their um of their reality. It's almost this this feels like someone who's trying to escape their reality currently they feel overwhelmed and overburdened and they feel like they need to be you know on their own and they feel like they need to do things on their own <clears throat> and it's almost like they don't want to overcomplicate their life or they don't want to um, be, re be responsible for anything or anyone Tell me about the lover's spirit. Yeah, five, five of pentacles and the ten of cups. It's like this person is abandoning with the five of pentacles their happily ever after. I think they know that they could have an, a happily ever after with you. If they if they put in the effort, if they put in the work, if, you know, if they try to overcome their demons and overcome their their fears and insecurities if they, if they tried um to to evolve and to transform themselves then they know that you know this could be possible the ten of cups could be possible between you two this happily ever after long-term happy relationship I do feel like your person is aware that, you know, that they could have it all with you if they really, um, you know, if they really try to just face their, their reality and face their, um, like I said, their fears and insecurities. then there is a lot of potential here between you and this person but i feel like as of right now with the five of pentacles this is this person is choosing to abandon um all possibilities or um potential between you and them yeah so i do feel like they're walking away because they just don't feel capable of of managing um, their life right now with somebody else with somebody else in the picture it's like they feel like they need to isolate themselves and kind of retreat for for some time and they feel like they need to um, find inner balance on their own because they are definitely very unstable here and emotionally unstable and mentally unstable it's like they feel like they don't have anything to offer like even if they wanted to be with you they feel like they don't have anything to offer you right now because they're in a bad 
they're in a bad headspace and they're in a bad kind of just uh, energy and vibration. I think this is someone who's just very overly critical here with the Knight of Swords. They're being, they're being too overly critical about themselves and about other people and, uh, and about their circumstances, just about everything, you know. So it does look like this person needs to kind of relax a little bit, you know, relax and take it, take it easy. All right, Pisces, so I hope this reading made sense to you, and I hope it resonated, um, and I hope it helped you. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Please give me a thumbs up to my video, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys. Take care.